Today we are going to make a wave tray and it is made by rolling a piece of clay out like you roll out a pie dough. So I use a rolling pin, uh, preferably over a slab roller, especially for smaller pieces. And I do that because it's just easier to control the shape of the clay. So if you'll see on both sides of the clay, there are sticks and those sticks are a quarter of an inch high and that keeps my uh, rolling pin from going below a quarter of an inch. So my slab is a quarter of an inch all the way through the whole thing. If I'm just rolling without those, then parts of the clay are too thick and parts of the clay are too thin. Also, I have some WD-40 on my Formica countertop, which keeps the clay from sticking. Some people will use PAM. I prefer the WD-40. It just works better for me. So I'm rolling out the clay, and it's important that you flip it over because you want to get the particles all going in the same direction. And if you only roll one side, then it kind of screws things up. And this way you won't get as much warpage or possibly cracking. And that's the reason the best slab rollers have rollers on both the bottom and the top if you use those. So I'm going to now cut the shape of this clay off for my tray. And here we go. And then I'm gonna put the clay into that tray. So the funny thing about that tray is I found that at Atlantic Bread Company. My, um, we were out to lunch one day and I really loved the shape of this tray. And I really didn't want to ask the manager if I could buy it. So my husband actually went over and asked if we could buy it. And he said, oh, you can just have the one that you're eating off of. So I brought it home and it's been a great little shape to slump with. So here I am, I'm forming the clay now gently around the piece to slump into the tray and um, just want to take your time and get it just right. So this here is the second sponge I'm using. It's a mud tool. It is the white one. It makes the clay nice and smooth. It's just a, a nice way to finish off your piece with your slumping. So then you want to take your needle tool and cut around the edges and go kind of slow when you go around the edges because it's easy to lose track of your tray and cut into your piece and then that's a whole nother problem with having to fix it. It never looks as nice as if you didn't cut into it in the first place. And then lastly, you go around and you want to compress those edges where you cut off and make them nice and smooth and then um, you just let your tray sit in there until it gets stiff enough for the next step. Um, but actually before that, I've got a bowl I'm going to add to this piece and I will show you that in just a minute. So here is the tray. It turns out quite lovely. So one last thing to finish the day off and that is to put these bowls on my wave tray. So I threw these and they've stiffened up a little bit and I alter them. And this one I did not alter, so I could show you how I do that. So let's see, I can find a good spot. There we go. All right, so I just take my fingers and go crook like that, straight across from each other. Oh yeah, and it's stiffened up nicely. And the reason I do that is I want to mimic the shape a little bit. Um, so the piece looks cohesive. And I'm looking for my slip again. Oh, it's underneath my bowl. <laughs> All right. So let's cut these bowls off. Cut this one off. Cut this one off. Gonna put this down a little bit. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna pick up these little bowls and they go. I know I have one that was a little bit messed up. Um, there we go. So they go in the tray like that. And then I need to score the edges and I need to put a nice amount of slip on these because they like to go back flat and move away from the bowl again. And so you kind of have to force it a little bit in order to get it to stay. I'm going to put my slip in here. So I'm going to put a little slip on two sides right there and on the opposite side and do the same on this one i've got my fingers kind of slip 
All right, so I'm going to lift this tray up and push the tray so it attaches to the bowl. And so we call this our whey tray, and it can be a nice serving dish, or it can be, um, you know, for your soup or chips or whatever. And I'll clean it again later, but so this is just the first, first go of the slip. And I'm gonna round the balls back out because I did make a little bit of an indentation where I pressed them together. Okay, so there it is. That is my wave tray. And it's a really, really sweet piece. So that is it today. And I hope you enjoyed this. And we will catch you another time. Keep potting. <laughs>